Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome to the final mission of Let's Play Wing Commander 3. Well, we've made it to the second refueling depot, and um, the Templar bomb should be loaded. So, yep, there it is. So, let's uh, switch over to our image rec missiles. We're definitely going to be needing those. And uh, let's prepare to do this. Let's prepare to take out the Kilrathi homeworld. Told you you'll be seeing this old face again. I know the T-bomb loadout is complete. You're going to have to lay it in there sweet. This to take place, the coordinates are being downloaded to you. It's in your hands now, sir. Send them all to hell. Yes, sir. We can do that. Okay, here we go. We got Vagabond. We got our missiles. Here we go. First zone. Man, can you feel it, viewers? This is getting exciting. Okay. Go get it. Now. In this mission, you need to be very, very, very careful about what your wingman does. Always have one eye on him and make sure that he is not going after the capital ships. Now, we're going to be seeing a bunch of capital ships in these zones. And we want to make sure that Vagabond is not going after them. Because uh, he can get swarmed real fast. And uh, you pretty much want to have complete control over what he's doing. And we'll be going over that a little bit more as we get into this, but... Okay, so let's start again with these pack bands. Here's our piece of cake. And... Wait for it, wait for it... There we go. Good. Okay, now... As soon as the pack bands are dead, make sure you have Vagabond uh, attacking your target. Because, if he doesn't, he's gonna start going after that destroyer. And that would be bad, because then he'll get swarmed. By um, by Drawfee's end of the show, he could get shot down. And believe me, we're gonna need him for this uh, for this next part. Let's go max speed. Okay, two more Drawfee's. Good. Thank you, Begumar. Excellent. Warm up. Because we don't need to go after the capital ships in this one. Right. Good job, team. Second second zone. All right. Go for it. See which one he starts going after. It doesn't really matter. As long again, as long as you guys are dealing with the non-capital ships, it's all that matters. Okay, let's see. Come on, Mr. Drop And also, in this one, viewers, you want to be aggressive. And make sure that you're taking the fight to the enemy. Don't ever play defensive in this one. Because, again, if you're going to get swarmed, you're gonna be in big trouble. Good. Thank you. Come on, Joffy. Go down, go down. There we go. I'm a, you know, Vagabond's a good shot, but I'm definitely a better one. Okay, now, as soon as you go to that one, immediately get him to attack your target because we, all of a sudden six Strakas appear out of nowhere. And we do not need... Look at them, they're all going after Vagabond too, so go quickly. Yeah, one thing good about this is, thank you. Uh, one thing that is good about this is a lot of them go after Vagabond, so you can just, you know, while while they're, um, while they're going after them, you can just start pegging them off. And that's a good, that's a good strategy. Uh, wait. Good. Warm up. Now, you don't have a choice after doing this second zone. If you choose to send Vagabond home, you won't have to deal with a specific Kilrathi ace, the, the Stalker, which is a Straka ace. But, I'd much rather have the cover of a of a trusty wingman. Yeah, see, there's Stalker. If, he, if Vagabond wasn't with you, Stalker would not be here. And we want to try and take him out quickly because he has some very powerful guns. So just be fast. And our Vagabond is going to go down in this zone. I mean, there's just no doubt. I mean, you can't. So you're, you're kind of on a time limit of what you can do. So just go kind of quickly. And good. Take as many of them out as you can. There you go. And I think another one shows up. If I'm not mistaken. There's a couple of them. 
Okay, bag mine got this one. Again. Yep, there's another one, but I thought. Good. Now, well, six targets sh show up out of nowhere. Use your missile. And uh, just start taking them out. There we go. Letting missiles go. Hopefully, we'll take out a couple of them. And now we'll take out this stalker. Good. We're doing good. We're just we're just taking it to these poor rappers. There we go. Okay, good. And big long form up. And that's oh yeah. Okay, I think Stalker keeps showing up until until Vagabond goes down. I believe is how this works. So. I think that's how that works. So, let's see. Let's send Vagabond home then. And we'll just take out the Stalker ourselves, and that should do it. Okay, come on, Stalker. What you got? Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. Okay. Where is it? Say good night, kitty. Nope, don't go after that destroyer. Okay, so let me uh take out this stalker real quick. And I'll be right back once he's dead. There we go. Got him. So yeah, all you have to do is get rid of Vagabond. Now, from this point, you want to get far away from the destroyer to make sure that he doesn't shoot at you. And then you want to hit Control c and that activates our cloaking device. Sweet. Now you definitely want to make sure you're cloaked before you go to the next zone.